Hey everyone, I'm Annalisa. Welcome back. Today, I am really excited to share with you this amazing pour cup that my husband made me. He didn't need to make it in rainbow color, but he knew how much I would appreciate it and how much I would love it, so he made it in rainbow colors. Um, because it was fresh off of the printer, I had to clean out all of the little webs that were left but isn't it amazing? I'm using color to go paint today. Um, I, my husband gave me this little tool to open these cans because I was struggling to open them. It's actually intended for an oil filter, but it works amazing. For opening all the cans so I pre-loosened them so I could get into them easier. So I believe this one is Anchors Away. And the one thing that I really learned about putting paint in this particular cup is that I really, 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 really need to have a much larger canvas. Um, this paint was probably enough for, um, well, I used a 16 by 16 round and followed it up with a 8 by 8 square, and both of them ended up with too much paint on them. So, and I still had some left over, if that tells you anything about how big this cup is. This purple is kimono violet. I do not remember what the um, turquoise one before it was, though. Sorry. I'll look it up and put it in the description. It really took a lot of paint to fill each of those sections. I suppose that should have been a pretty key indicator right off the bat, but I was so excited. Look at, look at how pretty it looks. And this color is Forward Fuchsia. It's a really, really, really pretty color to go color. I am almost out of both my purple and my pink, so I'm going to need to order some more. So this was what was left over after doing a 16 by 16 round. And as you, I'm going to do a ring pour with my pillow paint. And I'm not very good at doing ring pours. So you'll have to bear with me. Um, the end result is definitely worth sticking around until the end. I had to spin it a little bit to get it better situated, but I didn't want to spin it so much that it situated all the way. So with this bloom, I had come up with the idea to use only interference um, paints and so I decided to use my color art um, iridescent silks prism pour set and I have to say the end result was pretty amazing. I really didn't expect it to come out the way that it did. Like I knew it would be amazing, but I really did not expect it to be as amazing as it was. I really enjoy Mother of Pearl. I'm not sure why I enjoy whites so much lately but they they make like a really interesting um, depth when you're um, pouring. I think probably because I use a lot of darker colors uh, for my pillow paint so the really light white colors can stand out really well. 
when doing these kinds of blooms, I always have to be really careful about not pouring too much, um, too much of my cell activator because if I pour too much cell activator, then it always just ends up a mess and I end up having to overblow on the middle. I am using my world's smallest blower in this. And the important thing to note is I'm using the orange one. I've heard from others that the green one is not the same and it does not work as well. I do not personally have experience with this. I'm just passing this information along. I have a link in the description to the one I use if you would like to see the one I use. I have another one that's coming that I'm going to test, but I wasn't, I, I haven't tested it yet, so I'm not ready to share it as an alternative. I'll let you guys know how testing the new one turns out. So with this, I was trying really hard to determine if I wanted to make a flower or if I wanted to do swirls. And ultimately this one was just screaming flower. It, it really came out looking very delicate and flower-like. And so when making the flower, I always make sure to meet in the middle, but I don't go any further. But I'm, I always want the edges to at least touch. And then the last ones, I go in and do a small swoop with my swirls to, um, to draw it all together and get rid of that harsh, stark line that I'm bringing in when I'm making the different petals. And that's what you can see me doing right here, is just kind of trying to draw all of those together. When making your flower from your bloom, it's always really pretty to add the points to the petals. It's something that should be done before you spin, not after. So as I was editing this, I noticed at the very tail end, because of the way the light reflects, you, do, you see a lot of purple, but don't see a lot of the other iridescent colors. So I added that quick clip so you could see the green, the minty tea reflection. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you are not already, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Have a great day.